Happy September 1st, everybody. If you can believe it, we are only a few short days away from the Apple event where they're going to unveil all the new iPhone 17 series devices, new Apple watches, and everything else that they are going to have in store for us. We are literally eight days away at time of recording, so it's time to talk about a couple things. First things first, let's jump right into our calendar and talk about the actual releases for betas. Since we're obviously not anticipating getting a beta later today, there should be no more betas for this whole cycle until the RC comes out, which we can anticipate to be on the 9th after the event. If you follow the channel, we have talked about this. We should be receiving this around 3 Eastern, which is about two hours after the event starts on the 9th. That's when the RC or release candidate build will go public to all registered developers with the actual public release then being a little less than a week later around the 15th. So this has been a long time coming. We have seen so many changes to liquid glass, translucent glass, back to liquid glass, and everything in between. It's finally time. Apple has set, settled on a design and they are ready to go public. As you can see, we still have that random glitch in the control center, but everything else has been working good. Performance has been great, but I do have to call out one thing from using this beta for the last week on my primary device, and that is battery life. So before I tell you exactly about the issues, I do want to show you our battery health here, and we are at 95% still at 371 cycle count. So basically a year later, we lost 5% for battery degradation, which is not terrible by any means but I just want to lay that groundwork for you guys to know what's going on. So having said that, battery life on Beta 8 on our 16 Pro Max has been terrible. It started out really good, but every day since, it has gotten worse and worse. My screen on time has been pretty high, you can see, especially on some certain days here, but everything, even under not heavy use, like X says it was running the screen 31 minutes longer than usual, but it was at 19%. TikTok, Clash Royale. These are apps that I run daily and have never had such bad battery drain as I have on Beta 8. So I need to know from you guys, comment down below, are you all experiencing this same level of battery issues or has Beta 8 or Public Beta 5 been consistent and been great? Need to know if it's the, this device or not. Either way, I'm looking forward to getting rid of it and getting a new iPhone 17 Pro Max in the coming weeks. So, having said all this, keep in mind, it is still a beta, and we will get the RC in one more week, which hopefully will fix some of these issues. As we've talked about already before, too, if you go into Geekbench and you like checking out all these scores, you can actually see that, well, CPU benchmark has been okay. Single core, 3456, multi-core, 8311 on beta 8. But again, even when those numbers were lower, everything has been very quick and snappy, and I haven't had really any issues at all. One thing I am curious about is, are these animation part of the problem that is causing this battery drain on this iPhone? And if so, is this going to be a domino effect for especially older iPhones where it's simply all these new bouncing animations, as you can see. Is it all of this? Is it liquid glass that's causing battery life to be terrible? You can turn this off in settings under accessibility if you'd like to at least tweak it down by just going to settings, like I said, accessibility, and actually looking in here to be able to make that change. So if you go right under display and text sizes, reduce transparency, that will help a little bit as well for that liquid glass look. And I'm just, I'm kind of shocked how bad this has been for beta eight. Round beta three and four is where we've had great battery life. So anyways, enough on battery life. Camera, everything has been working pretty great. As far as financial apps, banking, investments, I haven't had any issues with those either. So if you're looking to still think about installing this on your primary device, you will be good to go in that regard. Daily operations, jumping around, downloading apps, updating apps, whatever you might want, it is working really good here. So having said all that, let's actually talk about when you'll be able to pick up the new iPhones and all new Apple products that should be dropping around the same time. If they keep their regular schedule, 
if we have the event on September 9th, we should expect pre-orders on the 12th, and then one week later on the 19th is when we can anticipate having our shiny new iPhones in our hand, finally ready to go. And especially if you're waiting on a new Apple Watch Ultra 3, like I am, we've been waiting two years for this. Battery life on my watch has been pretty crappy over the time now. Um, my battery health is down to like 89 or 90 percent. So definitely looking forward to that as well. So, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think. How has beta eight or public beta five been? Are you excited for the new iPhone? Let me know about your battery health in those comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.